can you put a warthog on the highest tower on Halo Infinite? And then can you use that tallest tower to fly across the entire map and kill a boss? That is what I wanted to try. I spent three days working this out and the amount of problems I ran into getting this done was absolutely ridiculous. Not only when I set it up the first time was there a matter of centimeters between undershooting or overshooting the tower, but when I finally got it on top, there was a million other problems that occurred. Once I actually got to the top of the tower, I set my two fusion coils down, hoping to fly across the entire map. Problem number one was that the fusion coils don't actually stack together. So even if I add more fusion coils, so I got three here, I carried it all the way to the top of the tower, you won't go any further. Two, once you hit a gap in the island, it'll just drag you down to your death. I honestly thought it was impossible. I don't even think 343 wanted you to grapple to the top of this tower. Once you hit halfway, it starts to go really weird. You have to spam the grapple hook to actually climb to the top of the tower, which is very odd. So in between the fusion coils not stacking, the barriers in the map, and everything else, I didn't think this was possible. So I thought, what if I tried the secondary spire? Could I go and splatter the brute boss Balkaris? So I tried with the secondary tower, and another problem. Now the Warthog disappears, and I was just done. I was completely fed up, I got off of the game and I came back. Day three, I was like, what if I try one more time and I launch the Warthog from a higher position with the Boom Skull and the Cowbell Skull, and I combine them together, I launch from a different platform, and thankfully it didn't despawn and I got the Warthog back on the second tower. Now I still need to sort out two very big problems. Actually getting the distance, and making it very accurate. If you can't replicate it and make it accurate, you are never going to hit your target. And the biggest problem I found was that if you stand on top of the Warthog and throw a grenade down to launch it, the Warthog will actually move a little bit each time. Now you're thinking, a little bit, that's not gonna make too much of a difference, but when you travel 1.5 kilometers, 1500 meters across the entire map, it just makes it so random that you're just praying for the best. And that wasn't good enough. I'd already spent three, almost four days trying to hit this damn guy or just fly across the map with it. So I was like, what if I do this? What if I throw it straight up into the sky? Then it won't move and fly across the map that way. I actually set a marker and then use that marker to correct how far to throw the plasma grenade up and use that as my measurement to get the distance perfect. Again, it was a matter of centimeters. By putting the fusion coils slightly underneath the hogmore, I was able to get more velocity from the explosion. And after days, absolute days, this happened. 